senior lecturer in personalized medicine. I'm leading the research group working on neuromuscular diseases. And more specifically, we are currently focusing on ALS, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. So our research tried to understand what could be one of the reasons of the ALS disease, but it won't stop there. The benefit of this research can be transferred to other diseases. Our team is composed of PhD students, undergraduate students, as well as postdocs and uh, lecturers. So we all have different skills there and we are all working together. To solve this problem, we are working with different colleagues and different platforms within the university. We are working with the computing group at Magi, where we try to understand the map of the neurons' connections in LS patients. We are also using the different platforms that can be accessible at the current campus. For example, we are working with the mass spectrometry platform, also the imaging platform. We can store some samples over there for long-term cryopreservation. Our research focuses on cystic fibrosis, which is a rare uh, genetic inherited condition. So the research that we do really hopes to understand how the disease develops at a cellular level. The researchers that are working as part of the team use a number of different models within the lab so that we can mimic the, the events that take place in cystic fibrosis and allow us to better understand what's causing the disease in the first place. I think if someone's interested in working in rare disease, there's a number of really good courses at Ulster that would allow them to follow that career path. We have a BSc Honours in Personalised Medicine that is a really great blend of molecular biology and also computational biology. And there are a number of other courses in the School of Biomedical Sciences as well. The goal of my research is to develop novel synergistic drug combinations with Phenetoclex for acute myeloid leukemia. So I've been working on this project for the last two years and progress has been steady. We're currently setting up a high throughput drug screen, looking at over 2,000 drugs. So it's the first of two major drug screens that we're going to be doing this year. And uh, we've currently been programming our new robot, our Viaflow 384, to do some automated liquid handling, so it's very exciting. My hope for society and for individuals is to provide new alternatives to chemotherapy which are safer and effective. So our research really investigates visual function in those with visual impairment and ocular diseases and many congenital causes of visual impairment are rare, uh, rare diseases in themselves. At the Centre for Optometry and Vision Sciences are really focused on trying to improve the visual outcomes for those patients and to also accurately track and monitor um, the progression of their disease. Our techniques consist of a range of ways to objectively measure visual function. Uh, we use high resolution ocular imaging to image the retina and other parts of the eye. We're very fortunate to have a, a great range of both clinical and research facilities here at, at Ulster. So our researchers are clinicians in the main as well and we really believe that good clinical research really stems from good clinical um, services as well. In terms of rare eye diseases, the eye is affected by around 900 genetic disorders and it's a very good organ in which to trial and develop new genetic therapies in medicine. One particular rare disease that we are, are addressing is a disease called aniridia, and this is a rare genetic disease in which the development of the eye is abnormal. We're working on a specific gene therapy that addresses that genetic defect in the cornea, and we're working at the moment in, in model systems to try and correct that disease. Molecular biology research is very strong in Ulster University and so students and researchers uh, interact together to try and work collaboratively to develop these new treatments and these new advances in, in science. <laughs>